Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, February 4th, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar, and as you can see, we continue to depreciate in the Great British Pound and US, pound, US dollar. And the reason for this is mainly due to the fact that the US dollar is appreciating and that has a negative effect on this currency pair. We are still trading above the 40 exponential week average and um, in the past, the 20, 40 and the 50 have been major support. So even though the US dollar is continuing to appreciate, it doesn't really have that much effect on this currency pair. We have been following the last three days, but we are hovering just above the 40 exponential. And if we were to break below the 40 exponential, then 50 would be massive support. You can also see here, we're underneath the middle of the Bollinger Band and heading, we're quite close to the bottom of the Bollinger Band. Last time we were this close was basically over here, and then we basically rallied roughly, roughly one and a half percent. The same goes for here. And when we got way outside, we had a massive rally to the upside. So roughly 4% the last time we were this far below there. So this was basically a Brexit negotiation. That is not going to happen here. We mostly touch the 40, maybe the 50, and then continue rally to the upside. Technical leaders uh, overall are looking very bearish at this point. Our, the stochastic is basically reaching, reaching the bottom. And usually, or in the past, it has turn around quite uh, aggressively. So we may see a, a turnaround probably tomorrow's session or a Friday session, depending on where the US dollar is going. Target is the previous highs here at 13.76. So let's look at the US dollar and Japanese yen. And as you can see, we have run into resistance here at the 200 moving average at 105, 203. So at this point, we are most likely going to drop. We are very overstretched, significantly overbought. Technical indicators otherwise are looking very bullish, but we are running into resistance here. This may well be as far as this will go. And now we're heading back down. And the first thing we will test is the 20 exponential right here at 104, 104, 319. So right in here in the middle of the Bollinger Band. And if we manage to break the middle of the Bollinger Band, we're heading all the way down to the very bottom of the Bollinger Band. And that would also mean that we would re-enter this uh, channel that we had been in previously. We did break out and we are going to test that at some point. If we manage to break into the channel yet again, then this will continue. But at this point, we are testing 200 moving average and a fall from here would test the 20 exponential moving average. So let's look at the US dollar, uh, uh, no, not the Euro and US dollar. So we have fallen yet again today. We have found support here at the 100 moving average. And at this point, we are getting very overstretched. We can see here in the Bollinger Band, we are way outside of the Bollinger Band. Last time we were there, we rallied up towards the middle. And we most likely will do that yet again tomorrow or on Friday session. So a rally up towards the 20 round here. That's roughly 1% to the upside. The last time we hit the 100 moving average, we had this massive rally here all the way up towards these previous low highs here. Well, roughly 4.6% rally. So we could turn around here. If we break down, then we have the 150 moving average right underneath. And underneath that, we have the 200 moving average at 1.18455. But I expect a turnaround here due to the fact that the US dollar will most likely start depreciating. So keep an eye on that. If that is the case, then we will see this retest at least uh, middle of the Bollinger Band here at 12, 12, uh, 38. So let's look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar. This continues to trade underneath the 50 moving average. We are getting very low here, almost oversold, very overstretched yesterday. And today we have rallied a little bit, but still we are trading underneath the 50 moving average and the 20 exponential moving average. And as long as that is the case, we are most likely going to continue down. But there is not a lot of room to the downside. At some point, we are going to see this rally, and that will also depend on the US dollar. If it starts depreciating, then 
this will um, continue upwards. Otherwise, we will continue towards the 100 moving average at 0 0.7453. Technical indicators anyway are looking very bearish at this point, so keep an eye on what happens to the US dollar. So here we have the US dollar, Canadian dollar, and we have reached a major resistance here at 12.88. At the moment, we're testing the 50 moving average. And if that were to break, we will go and test this previous trend line here. And if we manage to break that, we'll go back in towards this trend line here. And this will be just a false breakout. If you look at technical indicators, uh, otherwise they are either flat or they are turning around or they are becoming bearish. So momentum to the upside is uh, much less now than it has been. Um, it also depends on, for example, demand for oil. Oil has rallied significantly today and that is um, positive for the Canadian dollar. Uh, however, US dollar started appreciating and that is um, negative really bullish for this currency pair so at this point we'll see if this breaks and we test this line here then it is possible to short this um but at the moment it is not so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at patreon the link is down below good luck and thank you very much